Hey up lads, I've not done a watch video for a while. Um, I've had a, a little watch coming uh, through the mail. This one here. This is um, my birth year watch, Seiko. Um, yeah, it's, it's come through and I'm very happy to have received it. I've put it here with my other chronographs and this is the Citizen, Seiko and Amiga and I'll do a quick wristwatch, that's what I'm wearing today, Tudor with the blue bezel. So this watch has come through, I've had it for a week now and as you, if you can see it's running slow. Other than that I'm over the moon with it, um, it's beautiful. It's my birth year watch, so it's over 40 years old, mid 70s, the bracelet, the fishbone style bracelet, I'm very happy with. There's a few bits and pieces wrong with it, a few dings on the case and whatnot, um, but other than that it's running slow so I'm taking it to my watch guy. Um, it's going tomorrow. I've, I've had it for just over a week now and I've been uh, testing it and see what, and it, see what it's like. I knew it wouldn't be running perfect. Um, but yeah, there's a few dings on it. The tachymeter scale, very good. The gold subdials, not too bad. There's a little bit of a paint missing off that, that three. Uh, everything else fine it lines up reasonably well uh, it sits lovely on the wrist very happy with it and like I said the it's losing a little bit of time but for, for the watch that this uh, this age and it's probably not been worn too much because it's it's got a few dings in it but it's not as bad as what I expected it to be um, obviously it's not in shape as this this is my 2014, but size wise you can see that they're very similar. This one here, the, uh, this one was my bargain, I, love, I absolutely love this watch. Um, you know it's, it's now been made famous by Brad Pitt, he wore it in that, that film. But look at the look at the, the sunburst dial on this. I've got it on a blue racing strap. Um, there's there's just something about these chronographs, these old chronographs. Very nice. This one. I've been looking for this for the right price for some time. I got the price reasonable. Um, I think the the bracelet. I think is new. I don't think it originally come with the watch. I think it's had a uh, probably some new hands put on it. Uh, I think it's had a bit of an overhaul, but I'm not. I've not bought it to, um, you know, to sell it on. It's mine now. It's I'm going to look after it, and um, it's my birth year watch, so it's going to mean a lot. So yeah, the bracelet. A lot of people don't like it and take it off it, but I actually quite like it. I think it's a, I'm digging that seventies. 70s vibe on it and look and uh, yeah it's new to the collection i'm very happy with it seiko bullhead speed timer very retro chocolate brown dial it's just changes its its moods in whatever different light you put it in it's yeah i love it i'm not really a big well this is burgundy it's not red i don't like red so the lovely Burgundy bezel with little yellow accents on it. Very seventies cool. So yeah, very happy with it. It's been uh, it's been a while since I've done a watch video, but that's the that's the uh, the new addition to the uh, the watch family. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to getting this one up and running properly, and uh, and looking just as good as uh, and working just as good as all the others. So. There's a, a little update on some of the watches. I'll catch you later on, guys. Ta-da.